Hey, hey, hey. Music Therapy Labs here on a beautiful Wednesday afternoon. And I am at Jam's Music here. That's right. In Dublin, California. Doing this wonderful first Shop Your Mom and Pop Shop post-COVID series. <laughs> uh, I, I, I just can't wait to get back into the music store. I'm sure you guys are feeling the same way. And as of tomorrow, Alameda County here in the... Uh, the San Francisco Bay Area, so that includes Oakland and, and Contra Costa County, or Contra Costa County, that's the other county. Oakland, uh, Alameda is like part of it, used to be a naval base, uh, San Leandro, Hayward, Fremont, a lot of those are in, in the uh, Alameda County as well as some of the Tri-Valley here, like in Dublin and Pleasanton and Livermore where I live. So this is a wonderful store here, run by this awesome dude, John, and I already got okays to walk through today. Normally, it's still curbside, according to the uh, sign here. But tomorrow is the official opening day, so we're gonna do some walking through of Jam's music. That's right. Lessons, of course, aren't gonna be starting up uh, yet. Of course, there's complications due to COVID because of that, so normally that would be through this section here, the lesson rooms. You got the uh, repair shop back there. And last time I talked to uh, Alex over here, he turned me on to his band and I was checking out some other local bands that some of the musicians uh, that buy at the store. And of course, last time I was here, I picked up a pedal. I can't remember which one was it. I think it might've been, hmm. It might've been the Ditto Mini or it might've been the Flashback. No, it wasn't the Flashback. It, was, it might've been the Ditto Mini by TC or it might've been God, I think it was, it might have been the MXR, MXR um, compressor, the Deluxe. I think that's what it was. Can't recall, to be 100% honest. You know, they've got some really nice microphones here, for sure, your standard SM58s and 57s, and then you've got some of the, uh, the kinds that you might want to use for broadcast, right? And then this is something I'm really getting into right now, slide, right? These are cool, Taylor and Dunlop. I've got a couple Dunlop slides, at least a couple. Um, and I just recently got a moonshine glass one, which is really cool because the inside is kind of gritty, kind of sandy gritty. And I dig that. So they got everything you need here at Jams, of course, you know. Got your wireless systems for your, your home studio uh, vlogging or, or whatever you want to do, right? Okay, so then of course they have band equipment, which right now probably isn't happening much either. And they, they have an excellent Taylor uh, acoustic section here, by the way. Awesome. That's a cool shirt. So yeah, little little set over here. Tama. Little practice, little setup you might want. You got the ukuleles. I've got one nice ukulele that I gave to my nephew when he was getting into it in middle school and he stopped playing it so he gave it back to me. Nice collection of, of straps here, fenders, and others it looks like. But yeah, Kala or Kayla ukuleles. I can't remember if the one that I got for Nick is a Kala or not. It's actually a really good, really good one. It's really, really nice. So here we got the little piano section, a little drum, little practice drum set up here, Yamaha. We got some pianos, Yamahas, looks like mostly. Yep, maybe some Casios here, and these are Yamahas as well. Yamahas. You know, Roland uh, has a keyboard that I really like to get. It's been out for seven, eight years now, the VR09, but Casio, Casio um, Yamaha actually just put out the CY9 or CS9 or something like that, or C, CY9 or CY2, or I can't remember what it's called, but it just came out, and it is a uh, really great, like, you know, if you want to go on a jam or you want to play in a band and you want to do some, some, uh, you know, keyboards for your church group or whatever, it has every sound you want in it, plus the draw bars for all the organs and really good quality organ sounds, not sampled, but actual synth created, uh, excellent quality. And uh, 
I watched the uh, Sweetwater demonstration of that. I guess it's a CY1 or 2 or something like that. Check it out if you're a keyboardist. I am a keyboardist as well as a guitar player and I'll play every instrument. <laughs> I'm not a bad drummer, I don't think. Look at these beautiful tailors, man. Oh, look at that. It's a koa, right? Awesome. So here it is. Music therapy lives with shop your mom and pop shop. Shop them, you guys. Buy from the small stores. You got to support your local, your local retailers. Keep them alive, especially during these COVID times. Look at the back. Look at the flame on this tailor. Holy, that's nice. <laughs> like everything's reflecting off of it. So awesome. Look at that. Look at the depth on that. Pretty cool, huh? Looks like the ocean. Custom grand, six grand, beautiful. And then you have some, you know, smaller size for the beginner young people. 300 series. This is a nice one right here too. The 412 CD. Very, very nice guitars. Power size, looks like, or is it? Yeah. The grand concert shape, okay. I thought it would be wider. Grand concert shape. Yeah, that's parlors are more smaller than that, anymore, right? Some lefty, left handed ones. I always wondered about with left handed, all you have to do is flip the nut. I mean, not the nut, flip, 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 flip the, uh, the bridge, right? And just flip the, the nut and flip the strings. Yeah, flip both of them. And then you got a lefty, but like this one, if you don't have a, a pick cord on. Yeah, that's got an interesting port there, extra that's port, the right builder's there. edition. Brand new this, year. this one? Yeah, this was announced builder at the NAMM show at the very beginning of the year. And uh -huh. we're one of the I was there. To get it in stock. <laughs> They're really cool. That is super sweet. I love the yeah. Koa, the Koa pick card too, man. Mm -hmm. Is that ebony or Koa? Maybe uh, it's that's, ebony. That's uh, Macassar ebony on the Yeah, pick okay, I was going to say, yeah, it's more like ebony because it's darker, yeah. I love the fingerboard too, man. Mm -hmm. I love the little sound hole on the cutaway. That's too. cool. So, so what was the idea for that? Just so, so it projects to you? Or? Yeah, the idea is, is so the the model name is called the Grand Symphony. Okay. And, uh, yeah. The Grand Symphony has gone through a couple different different iterations over the years, and in uh, last year, the Grand Symphony was one of the last models to be updated to the new uh -huh. uh, V class bracing. Cool. And in the process of updating that, Andy Powers, their head with fear, just mm -hmm. kind of had a wild idea to really redesign the Grand Symphonies. And Interesting, because so I know they went, they went, uh, you know, with the V bracing, right? Yeah. And that was something really groundbreaking, different. Mm -hmm. Does so this have has, the standard X or V? That has the V bracing and the new mm -hmm. cutaway. Really cool. And the sound is just spectacular. You get so yeah. much more volume. Uh, you want to play something for me? Yeah, well, I didn't do that. That'd be awesome. To. Yeah. This is Jake, you guys. Jake of Jams. How's it going? Buddy of buddy of John. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> that's great. So that's another thing about local stores people is that you get people that really know instruments. You know, Jake just saw me checking that out and he stepped in and he says, Hey, let me show you guys what this thing can do. like mic it in two different positions because there are two typical positions yeah so you're getting a lot of high frequencies there, coming out here exactly and so yeah. this is you know most Clear of your bass up. frequencies are coming from right. this big body down here and so you know if i strum the strings and then cover the sound hole right. there is a noticeable yeah. difference yeah, between absolutely. the high frequencies coming out um so the intention was to help with finger style players who need a little bit sure. extra volume yeah yeah it sounds great and it looks phenomenal too i love that yeah, it's an amazing yeah. guitar. Great guitar. And for the money the too. Side. I mean, you can't beat that kind of quality for that money. Look at that rosewood. And is that is that Honduran or is that Indian um, or? Off the top of my head, I actually I believe it's Indian rosewood, okay. but I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's right nice. off the top of my head, but I do know that this is Sitka spruce and Macassar ebony, and this is also ebony for the yeah, look like cutaway there. You can Beautiful. see how the grain changes. 
just mm -hmm. an exquisite guitar. And how does the hand fit around that? So you can get your hand down in there pretty good? Um, yeah, I find that, you know, your natural angle when you come up to this point, your, your, right. your wrist is kind of at a 45 degree angle anyways, yeah. so you don't need the full range right, of the cutaway. Right, right, you know, right. some guys who, who are doing a, maybe a little bit more intense playing in this area right. or some larger chord shapes might like the extra space, but you know, in terms of reaching up into this you can area. get up to that 20th fret even. So yeah, I know Taylor know. just came out with a 20 fret, you know, some special guitar too. That's like a, a 20 fret guitar. Or they're talking about, you know, you can, you can really reach and get to that 20, 20 yeah, fret. Yeah, I know for at least the 12 fret models from them have been really popular in the recent years, which is they join the body and the neck at the 12th fret as oh, opposed see, to the yeah. 14th. Mm -hmm. What they do is they move the, uh, the bridge and the whole neck into the body more. So if you look at the distance Interesting. Yeah, between yeah. the bridge and the sound hole on that one right. versus this one, and what, what happens is your natural playing position here on this guitar in relative to the bridge distance is almost like gotcha. you're playing up here. So you get this really yeah, natural warm kind of roll off to uh -huh. the string. And that counteracts with being a smaller body and so it creates a little bit more balanced of a profile yeah. for such a small guitar. I just guitar. briefly watched, uh, I don't know if you follow any other YouTubers, one of my favorite acoustic players and singer-songwriters that's out of England is Mary Spender. Have you ever heard of her? Uh, no, I'm not too familiar. Okay. Well, if you're into, like, she's into all different kinds of acoustics and definitely has, you know, a, a unique kind of sound quality when it comes to electric and acoustic in her songwriting. And um, she was demoing that, that new Martin just the other day, and she does a thing called, I think it's every Tuesday. She used to do Tuesday Talks thing. It was kind of a fun channel kind of thing. Now she does, uh, you know... Uh, a different thing where she's showing off different kinds of acoustics and acoustic sounds. Very cool. So that Martin is another interesting new kind of product yeah, that I'll have to Martin's check it out. coming out with. Yeah. So you guys carry Taylor for the most part, Yamaha. Uh, Taylor, for we're Taylor, Yamaha, and Fender dealers for all Fender. of our acoustic guitars. Um, yeah, they're the Fenders. For uh, I, I have a couple used Martins that are sitting over there. Um, we have certainly have nothing against them. We're mm. just not a dealer sure. for them. Sure. Sure. Um, for electric guitars, I carry Ibanez, ESP, Ernie Ball Music Van, Fenders, G all kinds of too. stuff. I think I saw GNL in here last time, didn't I? Or what's that? GNL. Uh, we've had a GNL? couple used GNLs, but we, okay, we're not a GNL that's what dealer. I saw. Um, however, we are a Fender Specialty Brands dealer, so we carry Jackson, Gretsch, Charvel. We're a Mesa Boogie dealer. Yeah, I love the boogies. We've got you... a lot of toys around here. Have you messed around with the Fillmore much at all? Do you play electric Absolutely. as well? Absolutely, yeah. Electric that's is my one of those. Uh, that's one of those I'm really interested in. That gold one's still here. Yeah, it's still <laughs> like, here. Not I a lot really... of people like the gold, apparently. We loved it when I think it's cool, it, man. It's less popular. But I grew up in the 70s and into the 80s, yeah, so the right. gold is, uh, you know, have, pretty cool. Um, I do have a head and a yeah, like that. That. Sure, do your thing. So, yeah, here we've got some really nice boogie amps. Look at these. Channel amp there. It's a California Tweed. The 6v6 powered rectal verb. The dual channel. The dual rectal verb, of course. And then you got the Fillmore 25 and the Fillmore 50. And, and I would love to get this amp. <laughs> but I don't need another combo. That's the thing. I need to buy heads. I want to buy heads to set up my little uh, wall of heads in my studio room. Well, I'm sure they're willing to deal, make some deals for people. And you got your fenders in here as well, your deluxe reverb. That's a pretty cool. Got a California tweed in that uh, seafoam greenish color with the brown leather corners and all. That's so cool, man. Look at that. Look at that. Another corner, the tweed. Yeah, nice. They do sell used equipment here. I think we've got a JCM 2000 right here, triple super lead. Nice. It's a cool amp. Mesa cab. Let's see what this thing's going for. Eight ninety nine regular retail. 1800 dang 900 bucks for a jcm 2000 hmm <laughs> do i need a 100 watt head <laughs> i could i could power suck it down right <laughs> 900 bucks oh look at that that ultra this always grabs me i played that similar one at the uh guitar center in uh 
Emeryville pre-COVID. And that just reminds me of that uh, Andy Summer, totally. So cool. Kind of that mint pickguard, is it mint? It does kind of look like a little oh, antique one. It's another ultra in your standard three tone sunburst. I like that they went with the proloid. This is just the clay dots. Of course, it's the ultra. Got that, I think they put. Is it graph tech nut or is it a real bone nut? I can't remember. But yeah, I like that they aged the neck too and the color. I can't recall if these come with stainless frets, but they got the better string tree. I like that too. Locking tutors. That's the way to go, people. Aged binding. I dig it. The only thing I don't dig are the pickups. <laughs> Not a fan of these noiseless. They're okay. But there's this. I love that Cobra Blue. DC Cobra Blue. A lot of you guys don't know what that is. Uh, there was a car built in the late 60s when hot rods were the thing. And Ford built a car to beat Ferrari on the track, right? And they built uh, the AC Cobra. Shelby, Shelby is the man, and there was a movie about that with Brad Pitt and uh, God, what's that guy's name? That other actor, Batman dude. <laughs> so I'm not a big fan of the uh, stark white maple necks. I don't know why. Just does that look better? I think it does. Anyway, so here we are at again Jams Music in Dublin, California. Jazz Master is one that I'm really interested in because partly because of that switch and I love the you know P90 sound, um, but I'm thinking of going towards getting for that same this okay so this is an America American Performer series right you're looking at 1,300 bucks out the door with tax probably right so this will do a lot of cool things but consider. The new uh, Stratocaster, though, made in Mexico for a similar price, and it is the Tom Morello Strat, right? It's got the switch, so you can do the back tick 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 stuff, you know, <laughs> if you like to do that kind of stuff, which I do. So this is American Professional Series, the previous year before the uh, Ultra took over, and that's a pretty cool black telly. I dig it. Very, very cool. And then here you've got it's like an antique white. The strat that I had that I really loved had this color that was called uh, originally they wanted to call it uh, tobacco. No, not tobacco. So what was the name of the color? It had to do with uh, it being looking like an old lacquered white guitar that got yellow from being in bars and stuff. So anyway, bottom line, it's gone. I sold it. <laughs> so Music Man, of course, LTD, the EMG uh, loaded, hot red EMG loaded pickups there. This is a pretty cool looking guitar, man. It almost looks like something like either either. Buckethead would play, or you know, Billy Armstrong would play. Pretty cool, man. So this is really cool. This is a really nice, nice guitar. This music man right here. Roasted maple neck. Roasted maple fretboard. Look at that. Majesty. Trucci. I like the I like the way they do their tuning posts four and two. I think they patented that. That's why no one else can really copy it. So just check this out, man. Look at this body. Nice. Looks like Alder, or is it mahogany? Probably mahogany. It's pretty thick coating finish on there. But everything on these things are made to play <laughs> fast and comfortably. This one's even higher. I guess because of the label top. 
good quarter inch maple top at least, right? And then here you've got a flame maple. This is a Charvel, so price wise, this one's significantly cheaper. You got some Seymours in here. And far as I know, I think those are Seymours as well. Or are they DiMarzio? Hey, Jake, do you know if uh, there's PC there? Oh, that's all right. Anyone else know guitars? Who else yeah, might? What's the question? Um, do you know if the uh, the Majesties do they carry DiMaggio or, or or do they carry Seymour pickups? I believe those are DiMaggio. That's what I thought. I thought yeah. he had DiMaggios. Yeah. So yeah, they're DiMaggio pickups in the uh, Music Man's, and you got uh, Seymour Duncan's in this much cheaper nine hundred dollar price tag here, Charvel, probably made in Mexico. Nice neck, I'm sure. Satin feels great. Awesome, this is a nice section of guitars here. I love that. It's kind of a flat finish with the uh, roasted maple. I like that, that kind of gold Charvel sticker. The Pro Mods Satin Orange Crush. We got matte blue frost. Nice. Compound necks, of course. I'm not a big fan of the gray ones, but some people just love the gray. I don't know why. It's like that's the primer gray. <laughs> to me, it's kind of eh. And I don't know what kind of pickups are in those, but I'm, oh, it says Seymour. Okay. Now here we got some LTDs made by ESP. These are probably made in. China or Indonesia, I would guess. Probably, probably Indonesia is my best guess. So these have to be DiMarzios. I oh, know they don't have to be. So this isn't a double cream. So it's just double cream have to be DiMarzio, right? Now this is this one's killer. <laughs> this is the difference between LTD, which is pretty awesome, right? Pretty killer. $9.99 for this one. All right. Pretty sweet. Push pull pots. Now, here you go to the higher level ESPs. Look at that flame, it's awesome. Pro Light, really nice abalone. Looks like more like abalone dots, right? And then there's the price tag, of course. $3,400. Matching flame maple. You know, top on the uh, headstock as well. Satin neck feels great. Access is awesome. We got maple cap. Good quarter inch. On a mahogany body. Absolutely beautiful. Here's another nice ESP. I love those the little green ones. Look at all that. Top just glares. And that's a nice price for that. Sweet. A metal machine. Oh, I pick up some that thing. We shot the tuners on that green one. This one's got uh, Seymour Duncan Custom Shop 59. This is what I have in the uh, the Custom 59s or what I have in my um, the Angelica DC. Back to the amps. Uh, Here's a little mini bass breaker. Princeton reverb. Good price for a great amp. Great, great little amp home or recording amp. Now you got some more, some PVs are rolling. Hey, there's a little brother of my JC90, JC40. That's brand new, of course. This is this is what I I should buy. <laughs> right here, that. 15 watt too, but I'd like to get a 50 watt one. Got that EVH 5150 one. Mm. Sweet, sweet head. And now, Boss uh, has a mini katana too. Probably competitive with the, um, probably blows away the uh, Black Star flying, right? But I think this has dual speakers in it, doesn't it? I can't tell, but I think it does. And of course we have a bass section. You can't pass the bass section. Yes, the Jaguar series player. I like that. That finish. That 
actual roof buckle on a computer. Yeah, in terms of bow sizing in relation to the size of the instrument, of course, I have to make it off the top of my head. Um, Very nice jazz bass on here. These are all player series, okay. I think. Yeah, are they in Mexico or are they made in China? The player series are all Mexican. Made. Oh, they are. Okay. Okay. So it's just the Squire series that are in China, right? Yeah. 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 In my opinion, the New Mexico okay. stuff is um, really up, up up there par wise. <laughs> it's pretty pretty awesome. Oh yeah. For what you're paying for, you're getting like really high quality. That five string player right there, eight hundred bucks, man. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. I think that's roughly what I paid for my brother Andy's um, Spectre that I got on a super deal. And that base rocks. I gotta change the color on that thing now. I gotta stain it a more darker red. The Roadhouse series by Amo is probably a really good quality too. Yeah. That's pretty funky too. Isn't it? We got the workshop in the, over here. What's you that yellow? You got a blue. cool looking yellow. Uh, looks like a BC Rich in the back there. Yeah, huh? you can't miss yeah, that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Did I call it right though? Yes, <laughs> BC it Rich. Is. Yeah, is that is that what is that? That's, that's, that's not a mockingbird because it's got the funky cutaway. Uh, they call what? it the the B word. Oh, the bitch. Yeah. yeah, of course. Well, you know, we can say the B word on my YouTube channel because I don't play those PC games. Yeah. I think it's I think it's bullshit. <laughs> oh, look at this Gretsch base. Awesome. So you guys are the shop to bring all the stuff to in the Tri Valley, right? We definitely run a busy uh, shop back here. Yeah. Good to hear. I'll send everyone I can send here. So maybe that could be a Oh, banjos. I don't know why, but I love banjos. <laughs> this sound cool. Very bottom of the file yeah, end. Here we go. American Pro Jazz Bass. To be about 18 inches. Ash body. That thing is sick. Sure. So that sounds to me like it may be a really fun to play too. Size. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. I'm not a bassist person. He's got a pretty thin neck. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Suggest um, way up top there. Thins out quite a bit. Cool. Well, that's, uh, smaller handed bass players. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, jazz bass a little bit more than that's right, huh? Little See, little that's what I wouldn't know because I'm not really a bass player, but I do play them, but I don't own them or like play them enough to know. So the jazz bass has a thinner neck than the EP bass. At the, um, at the, at the, the neck. Yeah, at the nut. Yeah. Interesting. Oh. Yep, it's a good quarter inch smaller. Uh, huh? Yes, we do. Uh, Easily. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at the difference. There. And there. There. And there. Anyway. Cool. All your accessories for cleaning, hanging. And then here you've got a bunch more. Cool guitars. Oh, look at this Fender Special Edition uh, Chelly. A little more of a metal kind of version, right? The FMT. Which probably means something. Flared maple top. Flame maple top. Pretty cool. Not me, sorry. See more than it. 25 and a half inch scale. This ain't your father's Chelly, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Ventura. Oh, I remember when these Ventura series came out. Yeah. Cool with the mint pickguard, though. Paul Farrow fretboard. So this this is pretty nice. This player series with this flame, slightly flame maple, probably a veneer, cherry burst. That's a cool jazz bass, um, jazz bass, jazz master. So this has double creams in it. I wonder how they got away with that. Hmm. 
Hmm. I wonder how they got away with those. Double creams. Which was a Margio deal. The deal of Sonic. I always thought that was a weird looking body. <laughs> and this, this is cool. It's a lead series. Another smaller body guitar. And the polar white strap. The, that infamous white strap. Nice ash body strat over here. Classic vibe. Squire made in China, I believe. Yeah, all of these. It, look, it looks cool with that aged neck, man. Cool, right? Cool blue. Blue classic blue. $3.99. Like back in the day, you could not buy a decent guitar for $3.99. <laughs> Any one of these are totally playable and probably giggable. I like that hot red, is that? Race red. Oh, that's a cool color, man. I dig it. I put that, I put a mint pick guard on that. Put the big heads back there. Not a fan of this. But who cares? Give me a play. And we got, oh, so Yamaha makes some really good guitars too for the money. And these will definitely, quality wise, stack right up there against any of those cheap Ibanezes or whatnot, right? Pacificas. So you're a beginner player and you want something a little more shreddy, less than 200 bucks. That thing looks free. That thing looks sick. <laughs> Like it's got a graphite nut. That red one's pretty nice too. Jealous red. And Yamaha's are nothing to sneeze at, man. They're pretty killer quality. Back to some squares. Here's that. Oh, this one's Torino red. Look at uh, that yeah, red versus that red. So that red versus this red. Let me grab that one. Let me just. So you guys the difference as they say in the France mm -hmm. so here we got the Torino red versus the race red the race red looks like a I like it <laughs> I don't know what to say it looks like it looks cool man looks like looks like some nail polish and you got the pink uh, you got the pink the pink one that looks pretty cool too. Square. Mini. This is a little, little, little strat. Mini strats. And here we got some Jazz Masters again. And a Jag. So many switches. What to do with all them switches? Look at that. This is cool, man. Under 500 bucks. Man. Pretty cool.